Welcome to another exciting show of transformation. Prosper with Wayne, creating wealth, health, and happiness in your life. With your host, life and business coach, author, entrepreneur, and lover of life, Wayne Sutton. Prepare to become excited, expand your beliefs, and truly prosper in all the areas of your life. Enjoy. Hey guys, Wayne Sutton here. We have been talking the last few days about using the art, the art of leadership, the art of control, the art of uh, discipline to create in your own self a pattern that someone would want to follow. If you're going to lead others, you must learn to lead with yourself. So we talked about control. We talked about, and if you missed it, go back and listen to the podcast. If you're on YouTube, go back and listen to our, and watch our other YouTube videos. But we talked about control. We talked about having control in your movements, actions, discipline. We talked about leadership. And I gave you five keys, five of the 20 factors on leadership. But I want, today I want to talk about gratitude. So the inner feeling of gratitude shows outwardly. The inner feeling of gratitude shows outwardly and resonates with the gratitude of the subjects you encounter, what they need. Everybody's coming to you in a different place of need. They're coming to you with a need, that's why they're hiring you as a coach. They're coming to you with a need, that's why they're coaching with you. They're coming to you as a need, as a as a spouse, as a friend, as a family member, whatever. So when you release gratitude, okay, I want you to hear this. It's the most powerful feeling you can have. It will take place of negative inner conflicts that can definitely destroy a situation or an operation. There are six points to creating a feeling. I want you to grab a hold of this. Six points to creating this feeling. And they'll prove invaluable to you. So we're going to go through these. So I want to talk to you about how to release gratitude. How to release it. And as you do, how to move people from where they're at to another place. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to cover all six here. But I want to just begin. We're going to begin. We're going to cover some of them. Okay. Number one. I want you to make it a practice every day to say thank you. In your mind, you don't have to say it outwardly. Like right now, listen to me guys, I just put on some reading glasses to look at my own notes. I'm thankful for the reading glasses. I don't have to squint and get a headache. Thank you for everything that you can identify that you've overlooked. The small things you take for granted. The fact that I can talk into this microphone and it goes into my, you know, my software and then I can upload it to Podbean and Podbean will send it to iTunes and iTunes and Podbean will send it over to YouTube and YouTube's going to send it into your home, your car, wherever you're at. My goodness. So grateful for that. We need to be grateful for the little things, not just for the big things in life. Everything. I always tell people, if you, if you made it a goal, made it a goal to be thankful for 20, 50, 100 things a day. I'm drinking a wonderful hazelnut coffee. I'm thankful for the coffee. I was thankful for the barista that you know that prepared the coffee. Thankful for my car that got me to the coffee shop and back to the office. I'm thankful for so many. If you do this, if you get in this place of gratefulness, you cannot be grateful and depressed at the same time. Okay? This mental shift will be a visible change when you interact with other people. Okay. I want you to grab a hold of this. Let's look at <laughs> let's look at a taco. This is going to sound crazy. Look at a taco. Look at the lettuce on the taco. Me and my family love Mexican food, so I'm going to use a taco. Somebody had to grow the lettuce. The farmer had to take care of to nurture the lettuce. People were uh, they there were people that were involved in, in in getting the land prepared and preparing the lettuce. Whatever you do to prepare lettuce, I don't know. Just speaking this out loud. The cleaning, the delivery, the prepare, the preparation, everything. The person who sold the food to the restaurant, the person who prepared the food, the person who brought the food to you, the ability for you to have cash in your pocket to purchase the food. All of this. Oh my goodness. Do you see how blessed you are? When you begin to see it that way, you'll resonate that. Okay, so gratitude. Become aware of each moment's gift. And if you have to, get a gratitude journal. Write it down. How many things can I write down that I'm grateful for today? Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Now, if you're going to be great, grateful, then make it a place to enjoy that. Number one, it's a lot easier to enjoy this coffee. Number one, it's very good. Number two, I know that the person that 
prepared it, got paid. The person that owned the coffee shop got paid. I know there was so many people that are blessed because I wanted coffee. <laughs> Make it a daily practice to enjoy what you're doing. To enjoy what you are doing. If you're a high type, uh, like a high D and a disc profile, sometimes it can be easy to get burnt out. But guess what? Because you get bored with things, you got to make it. You got to fall in love with the boredom sometimes. And that's another topic we'll talk about later. But you got to fall in love with the daily activity, the daily practice, the daily uh, essentials to make your life work. Okay. And here's the key. I want you to think about this. Whether you're riding on a ride in an amusement park or literally cleaning the toilet in your bathroom, the ability to enjoy the process is limited only by your perception of the action. The one scrubbing the toilet, think back to people that don't that didn't have or do not have literal literally don't have toilets today. This third world countries. Think about this. Think about just less than a hundred years ago in the United States. They had to walk outside to a outhouse. Come on, guys. So not only be grateful, but enjoy your daily activity. People want to feel good. People want to feel good, so they want to be around people to feel good. So we're talking about if you if you'll take note of the things to be gra- grateful for, if you'll notice and make it a practice to enjoy what you're doing, you're literally managing your behavior. You're manage. You're having a flexibility of behavior. Okay, and we could go deeper into that. I'm not going to go into that on this. Um, and this, there's things you can do to manage your own behavior. And then when you're talking with other people. So let's talk about how do we take this gratitude, this energy, this enjoyment, and how do we share it with other people? How do we influence with that? Number one, you'll influence congruently automatically. Number two, let's manage our behavior when we're talking to other people. That means keeping your speech unhurried and deliberate. Now I'm talking fast here. I'm excited. Maybe the caffeine, the espressos kicked in. But when you're talking to people, you want to speak to them in a in a rate when you're when you're either persuading them or transforming them through coaching. You want a speech that is unhurried. It's deliberate. You want to be deliberate in your actions, your speech, when possible. And this is a big win and be careful. Combine physical touch with compliments. Of course, use ethics and morality and common sense here. But combine physical touch with compliments to increase the level of sincerity. If you're complimenting someone's uh, watch, reach over there and just touch the band of them. Put fingerprints on the beautiful crystal Rolex, but touch the band. I love that watch. It's beautiful. Tell me the story behind that. If you're complimenting something, that's a beautiful piece of whatever you're doing. You're complimenting a person or you're complimenting an object even. Literally lay your fingers on it. Touch it. Again, I didn't want to touch on that because we're going to talk about how to do that ethically and how to do it without getting in trouble, but it's important. Another thing that's important is eye contact. Show interest. Give a genuine smile, but make eye contact with others to eliminate this this response of untrustworthy. If you can look if you can look at them in the eye. One thing I notice, I do a lot of Skype and a lot of video, a lot of Zoom calls. I know if I look at the person on my screen, I'm not looking at the camera, which is above my screen. But if I look up, I can still see them. But if I look at the camera, I look at when I'm talking, I look at the camera, the little uh, the little peephole camera, whatever it's called here, the webcam camera. So I want them to see me looking at them. Make sense? Okay. And this is very important. Keep your feet. Keep your feet pointed at your subjects when you want to display interest. You want to show interest. There's so much on behavior. I don't want to get into all of the body language now because a lot of you are doing coaching by phone. But I want you to grab a hold of this. There's things that you can do. Be deliberate. Be deliberate in your actions and your activity towards them. Make sense? Okay, guys. So there's so much more we can go into, but I wanted to just touch on this. I do want to talk to you about building rapport. We're going to talk about that uh, in our next lesson, how to build rapport with someone so they they find that place of trust. They feel comfortable with you, and then they follow you, whether you're, again, leading them into a sale and you're selling your coaching or you're actually coaching them and you're transforming their world. So here's what I need you to do. Go over. Now, listen to me. Very important. Go over to full time to GoFullTimeCoaching.com. The website is GoFullTimeCoaching.com or ProsperWithWayne.com. Take it to the same page. 
Check out the webinar. If you haven't joined us yet, jump on the webinar. Get in touch with us. Let's get you certified. If you are not a coach, we want you to become a coach with our, with our organization. If you are a coach, hear me on this. Very important. If you're a coach, but you're not at that $10,000 per month mark, you're not at the $20,000 per month, wherever you're at and it's not where you want to be, okay, very important here, you're not where you want to be, then I want to help you. I want to help you get there. So get in touch with us. We're going to share with you our system, how it works, and most importantly, we're going to get to know you. We're going to work with you one-on-one to get you where you want to be. So this is Wayne Sutton. Hope you've enjoyed the podcast. Hit share. God bless. Thanks for joining us again at Prosper with Wayne. Be sure to subscribe to us for more exciting, life-changing episodes. Go today, in fact. Go now to prosperwithwayne.com and enter your email for our exclusive newsletter and other resources. God bless and go prosper.